Hey, hey, thank you for watching my channel. I am the Divine Maverick, also known as the mother of twins, helping you on your twin flame journey. This is your midday tea, a little something, something. I put some cards out and meditated on them before I got on here in an elemental spread, you know, a little something, a little something, something. And I'm going to be using Major Arcana just so we can get the, um, so I can get it in in a, in a you know, timely manner. This is your midday little something, a little munch on. I'm going to tell you right now that this is a different timeline. This is different from the He's on the way. He's breaking through. He's he's on his way to you. It doesn't, I mean, I don't know if it resonates, then that's fine. But it feels like it's, um, this is not a couple getting ready for union. This is a couple still uh, finding their balance between the giving and the receiving um, in the in the connection. Um, thank you so much for the way you support me. Let me just give my shout outs. Thank you, Patreon folks. Uh, Star seeds, star seeds, <laughs> Atlantis and uh, sunflowers. Thank you for um, my YouTube family, everybody that supports me on every platform. I appreciate you guys. I could not do this without you. Thank you so much for the way that you love on me, and I love you right back. All right, anything you need to know about me can be found down below in the description box. Everything, just look in there for a few seconds before you totally get off my page. How about that? Now, first things are first. Um, divine masculine, divine feminine, I'm pulling your energy together. So I'm going to be talking about you as a couple, just you watching, just think about the person that you're thinking of. This could be your divine counterpart, or it could just be a relationship you're in. Just roll with me. But there is somebody very much in need of a new phase in the relationship. It needs to, um, be transformed. There needs to be some growth because it has been some stagnation in that somebody was stuck in their ways, like emperor energy is what I'm feeling. Aries, you know, um, kind of, uh, I just saw Capricorn. I just saw Taurus as well. But somebody kind of, you know, stuck in their ways and, and doing the same thing the, the same way, thinking they're going to get different results. If that's you, then, you know, you need to change up the way you're thinking. If that's your person, just know that you're dealing with somebody that 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 stuck, they get stuck in their way. So that is the, 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 the lesson, the karma, if you will. Um, that's what they're working out in this lifetime, how to, how to be more flexible. Right. So, but the Phoenix is here. So that lets me know that something does probably need to crash and burn. My, my card in the middle that ties off everything together is the coffin card. So the coffin card has made an appearance. Endings bring new beginnings. You need to know that. So that means you don't lose your hope because clearly I can see that you have fallen in love with this person. And I feel like this person has fallen, actually fallen in love with you as well but they can be prone to being self-absorbed. They can be prone to being narcissistic. And, and I'm not calling them a narcissist. I'm just saying that they can, they can be, they can have narcissistic tendencies. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying, you know, you're addicted, but you, you, you addictish, addictive. You know what I mean? I just thought of a joke, but it would be inappropriate. Now, anyway, um, so the, the, to get over the obstacles with this person, um, it's, it's, um, you need to get together. I feel like there is, for some of you, there is a distance. There is a, a literally a geographical distance, um, in, in between you. So you just want to, you want to see each other. And for others of you, it's just realizing or coming to the grips that for your person, that you are the perfect person for them. You are their match for whatever reason they are avoiding, um, this because like I said, they're, they're a bit stubborn and inflexible. Um, also the relationship is one-sided. You you probably person watching because that's why you're watching are giving more, um, showing more, uh, revealing more, planning more, whatever the whatever your more is. Put the adjective in front of it or the verb in front of it. Whatever you're doing more of, it's all on you. And they're just kind of receiving. Like you fell in love, you're falling in love, and they just let you. But I'm just telling you to allay your fears, right? that there's going to be some growth. There's going to be some change. There's going to be a transition from, for, for some of you, if you're waiting for them because they, they have a person or something, something they're doing, it doesn't have to be a person, but something that's keeping them uh, focused in another direction or keeping them, their time tied up or their energies or their emotions tied up, something they're tied to. I just saw gambling. I saw the word gambling that flashed aboard me really fast. So like I said, you could be dealing with somebody with a, a very addictive personality. They do everything kind of in excess, including love bombing, which is how you guys kind of got together was because they kind of showed you so much affection and, and, and they, they couldn't get enough of you and they were unrelenting. And then it's like when you finally fell for it or, or came into their, uh, you know, you fell for it, you started buying their, what they were, what they were uh, selling. <laughs> then all of a sudden it, it got weird. Okay. And then, and so now you have this challenge of, do I open my heart? Because you know, your heart probably was before you had this person under lock and key, you had come out of some things, you had, you had healed from some things and you were just looking for a, a new life, you know, a rekindling of, 
um, your passion again. And this person probably did rekindle your passions and, and with this, this love bombing and all this affection and attraction and, and the words and the, and the togetherness or not the, not the attention. I mean, not the togetherness really, but, um, you know, whatever, whatever they did give you, it was enough to, to catch you. Right. And then all of a sudden, things change, things begin to change. And so now where you are is like, do I stay or do I go? You know what I mean? Because I know that I need to look at that temperance card, balance, trying to find your balance and heal from this, right? So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Look what fell on top of the unconditionally loving, the kisses card. So this is the Empress. This is about fertility. I told you it's not innately or in and of itself a bad relationship. It's not, you didn't make a bad move, you know, but this is about, because the Empress is about the nurturing because you, this person brings out because of the affection and the attraction, right? This person brings out the, 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 the mother, the nurturing. You just want to love this person. You know what I mean? You just want to kiss them, give them unlimited kisses, right? You know what I mean? It's a new life. And, and, but you do want it. Um, you want a new life with this person could be a Libra. You're a Libra watching, but it is about, you know, a change that needs to happen, a change. And, and this person, you know, gave you, it's like they breathe fresh air into your life. You know, when, when you met them, when it started, I'm talking about a, a start, of something. So yeah, your timeline is probably, like I said, you're, you're, you're learning to balance your guys. Let's do the Phoenix. Yep. Told you you're dealing with an emperor. What'd I say? What'd I say? Said that Aries energy. You were dealing with an emperor here that, um, it, cause an emperor is a, you know, sometimes represents being stubborn. This person is also a dad. This person is also a boss entrepreneur. This is the king of all Kings. You know what I mean? Um, this person probably has religious, very strong religious or, or moral constructs. Right. But I feel when I say king of all Kings, cause the emperor is the boss of all the Kings in the deck. So this person is a, is a leader of men, if you will, or a leader, a natural born leader. And so with that, they just want to do things the way they want to do it. I feel like this person has gone through a lot. They've had their lives crash and burn, probably are divorced divorced or, or went through some sort of bad breakup or, or going through even a divorce now. But anyway, um, this person is used to things crashing and burning and people kind of counting them out. So that's what gave them this tough exterior and, and, and develop them as a, as a, uh, emperor because the emperor is about authority and structure. All right. Um, the emperor causes, the emperor has encountered the way the world works. All right. So we have a divine couple out here. The emperor is out here and the empress. So, here you guys are. So this is a, um, if you were curious, if this was a divine connection and if you're watching, then you probably already have inklings of this, but yes, the emperor and the empress is, is a, is a divine connection. It's, it's very, very twin flame ish, twin flamey. You know what I mean? Like your, your person from the foundation of the world. Let's get the heart with the key, please. This is just major arcana y'all. That's why it's so small. It's just, just, um, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Do we get a jumper? Let's hit no, nope, that looks good right there. Heart with the key. Ah, oh, yes, told you. So with the tower card, like I said, it's um, you were you were wondering if you if you're gonna open your heart again after what you came through the tower, like like you thought or or part of your karma in, in entering into this dharma that you're in was letting go of all the fake people in your life this was a this was a fake relationship this was a fake friendship for some of you this was a this was a job that was not uh paying you what you were worth um this is for some of you this is leaving a living situation like a roommate situation that crashed and burned really and you just had you had to get out you know what i mean you're just like I, you're, and so you learn to stand on your own because you realize i don't know maybe somebody was talking about you or there was some deception going on like somebody was two-faced like this is this is discovering that people around you were wearing masks. And I feel like you cleared out or cleaned out all the fake people from your life. And so the challenge for you is now to open up your heart to this emperor, this 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 person that's kind of came as a whirlwind or kind of came out of nowhere in your life. And now you're like, oh my gosh, because the moment you started opening up and letting your guard down after coming through a tower moment, then all of a sudden they changed up on you. You know what I mean? And it's like, what's up? What You know, they became selfish. And like I said, very concerned about every other thing than you or... Um, not you, uh, but I mean building a relationship, like a collaboration, working together. The devil, oh, wow, the devil and the death card just fell on the ground. Wow, they just fell together. See that? And so um, since this has been happening, since this whole um, one-sidedness has been happening, you've been toying with the idea of like the coffin card in the middle says, your fear 
You know what I mean? Endings. Look at the death card. So I have a coffin card. Endings bring new beginnings. Growth, change, liberation, transition. Should I make this move? Should I make this change? Or is this going to change? Because you're fearful. Because again, you got the tower out here. You would, you, you're you scared. You know, you open up your heart or, the, or you thought it was time to open up your heart because you actually do have real feelings for this person. Kisses. You want to give them kisses and they may like to kiss you and maybe that's what caught you is their kiss. <laughs> yeah. It, um... Oh no, that's not the way, is it in his eye? Oh no, y'all know this song. That's not the way, you're not listening to all I say. If you want to know, um, something got me so is in his kiss. If you want to know if he loves you so, it's in his kiss, yeah. That's where it is, it's in his kiss. Anyway, I can't think, anyway, anyway, y'all know the song I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I like. Anyway, so the kisses is what got you. You know what I mean? Um, for some of you, not everybody, but I'm just saying that you opened up your heart and now you're afraid because you're like, what happened? What happened? You know what I mean? So, all right. So death card, you were wondering if you were going to end it, but you know that endings bring new beginnings. All right. So let's get some advice. Let, that's, so that's the gist. That's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing. Let's see the bottom of the deck just for fun. Hermit card. All right. All you need to do is pray about it. Just ask your team, ask your angels, you know, ask your guardians. You know what I'm saying? The hermit energy, you could be dealing with a Virgo. And like I said, they might not even be talking to you right now. That's another thing. It's like, when did you add that to the, to the bag of tricks? Now we're not speaking. You know, what's up? What's up with all the in and out? What's up with all the ghosts? And why is it so silent over there? You know what I mean? Somebody went in the cave on you too. Um, you know, if this is resonating, but what you need to do is introspection. The hermit card is it. The hermit comes before, uh, after rather the strength card. The strength card symbolizes, um, you've had some setbacks some failures, some things happen in your life, but you're strong now. You know what I mean? You've learned, right? And then, th then after that, as far as the game of life, you know what I mean? Your spiritual journey, you have the number nine. Nine might mean, mean something to you. M nine might be significant to you um, as in the month of September or as in nine months. You know, it takes nine months for a baby to, um, I was almost say matriculate. Some of y'all might be graduating from um, school in nine months or a class, some kind of some kind of training in nine months. Anyway, nines represent cycles, okay? It's an indication um, of a theme that's happening in your life, okay? So you, this, this, new phase that you're asking for after and after some things you know you made some boss moves in your own life and 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 let go of some some fake folk and fake situations right fake 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 things right i don't know why i'm stuttering on fake but it was i was stuck on the word fake y'all heard it right so anyway um, and starting your new life, you meet somebody, they open you up, and then all of a sudden they change up on you. You're like, oh my gosh, what should I do? The only way you're going to know that is now you're at the hermit card. This is an introspection. This is pondering the deeper things of life, asking the why questions. Why? Why? Why this person? Why now? So that's really the advice. The T is why now? All right? At, instead of throwing the baby out with the bathwater, right? Because again, we're not going to minimize what you've gone through because you both actually, you both have gone through something. That's what I'm saying. You both have had a lot of, um, <laughs> I've had some good days. <laughs> I've had some bad days. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I'm telling you this, this person, this person you're thinking of feels so churchy to me, but anyway, anyway, that's probably another part of the thing. You're part of their awakening and they are part of your healing process. You know, they're waking up, you're waking them up and they're helping you get over these triggers of abandonment or, um, uh, rejection. Right. So anyway, go in, go within hermit card right here. So introspection, ask the major questions. Why look deep within, look inward. The answers are always inside of you, not out of, outside of you. That's the bottom of the deck. Let me get you some advice. Um, about this relationship and then I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Ooh, that came out real quick. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Uh -huh. It says, look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. Oh, this is definitely a lesson. Uh, my love for you is as deep as the ocean. Mm. Virgo energy, hermit card too. So anyway, if you were wondering about this person, because <laughs> truly you love them and truly um they love you because it says giving and receiving affection um you're the emperor and the empress just give it give it time um i can't stop looking at the sexual union card on the bottom i'm just gonna show it to you but i'm gonna put it back down i'm not gonna even expound on that because i don't want to make this too long but i'm gonna just say it the sexual union card is at the bottom of the deck and y'all know how i feel about the energies on the bottom of the deck so I'm just leaving that there. But let's go right back to here. Look deep within. If you can just take that much from this midday snack, okay? Don't, don't, 
Don't rush to judgment. If anything, at, um, instead of seeing what they're doing, ask spirit why they're doing it because you're going to find that it has everything to do with your growth, your healing, and it has everything to do with you learning from the experiences and situations around you and knowing that you've conquered your demons, okay? Because that's what the nines represent. That's what nines represent, okay? So, all right. So we're going we gonna to leave, leave right there because the, the, with the bottom of the deck, with this nine from the hermit energy good looking deep within, because I got to say this because I can't help it. The hermit was right there. Look what's behind it though. See? The fool card. A different direction. New face. Doesn't that look a lot like the phoenix? New phase. Transformation. Doesn't also sound a whole lot like endings bring new beginnings. See? So look deep within your heart. This person is saying that um, their love for you, they're, they're, they have real love for you. Probably going to take a moment, a moment to work through all the um, Deborah, uh, Deborah. Wow. I don't know why I said that name, but okay. The devil energy. The devil energy, um, Capricorn could be dealing with Capricorn or Scorpio. All right. And then, of course, Gemini's out here with the fool, Libra, fire signs, Aries. All right. Okay. Okay, y'all. There's your advice. Enjoy. Um, until we meet again, take care of yourselves and each other. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment.